Hey, my name is Kevin Geis. I'm from Pearl Corporation. I'm here at PASIC 2023. Excited to show you guys the new finalist series. So let's check it out. Starting with our tenors, you'll notice that it looks very similar to a championship product. We're borrowing a lot of things from the championship line. Uh, our effort here is that in order to be a finalist, you have to have a championship mentality. You have to borrow from championship aspects in order to be at the top level of your game. Uh, so that's exactly what we've done with this latest product. On tenors, uh, you'll notice from the lug up, it's all championship series spec. Same lugs, tension rods, hoops. You notice on the bearing edge and the reinforcement ring, it's all championship spec. However, these are birch even ply shells. So a little thinner, a little lighter weight. Uh, that's a big concern of us is how heavy the drums can be for a performer. Uh, so we definitely wanna make sure we alleviate as much weight as we can. Um, in terms of shell spec, on championship series, we offer a shallow cut and a sonic cut. Uh, on, on finalists, we're offering mid-cut. It's a nice, happy medium where you're gonna get a full sound while not having too much weight on the drums. Uh, definitely a good, a good balance between our two specs on championship series. You'll also notice on t the tenor drums that they're all compatible with our CX airframe carriers and MTS uh, tenor stands. The tenor back bar is the same as our CX, so you don't have to rebuy a bunch of pro hardware you already have, it's ready to go. Moving on to the finalist bass drum. Uh, this is the same exact spec as a championship series drum, except that it is a birch shell. We've also made one uh, edit to the drum in that we have competitor series hoops. Uh, these are one and a half inch, so there's slightly less leverage on the drum. Uh, that's going to keep you from bending more tension rods. Uh, so yeah, we've, we put the drums through our pa its paces. Uh, we're excited about the sound that they're able to produce. Uh, on the bass drums, we go as small as a 14 by 14 and as large as a 30 by 14. So wide range of choices there. Next up, we've got our finalist snare drum. We're really excited about this because it's, it looks like a pearl, but it's a little departure from what we've done in the past. Uh, notice the same top hoop, bottom hoop, tension post. However, we had made edits to the edge ring. Uh, if you look in close, we have now our vaulted edge ring taking a few ounces off the drum. We understand that's the heaviest component of the drum. Uh, so we want to alleviate as much weight as we can without robbing the drum from, of any sound. Um, a big departure for us on this drum is our new Nano Touch snare strainer. If we look in close here, you'll notice it is actually affixed to the shell um, and it is our no throw throw. So drum key adjustable, simply loosen it. It goes down, it goes away from the bottom head. You're able to tune your bottom head up. When you're ready to go back up, simply reposition it and tighten the drum key. It's adjustable on both sides and the tension uh, is also adjustable on the player side. Less moving parts should be a little bit easier for band directors to maintain their equipment. Next up, we've got our single tenor. This is quite literally a 14 inch tenor off of our production line for our quads. Um, however, it is affixed with a snare attachment. So if you've got more kids to try to get on the field, you gotta get them moving their hands and moving their feet at the same time. Uh, this is a great solution. If you wanna add the, the Thompson order to your battery, uh, it's a great way, to, great way to do it. Uh, it comes in a 14 inch. We also have the option of adding on an eight inch a uh, single Spock drum that can be used as a highlight drum within the Sonority. It's compatible with all snare hardware, so our snare stand and carrier. Um, and then moving on to our traditional tenor, this is our 15 inch traditional tenor, all burnt shell once again. You'll notice that it has our championship series hardware and uh, hoops. It's a great use for show band and HBCU style drumming. Uh, can also be played on a horizontal level using a sling. If you're looking to check out finalist products from Pearl, be sure to go to steveweissmusic.com.